Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Heroes Chronicles spin-off series for Heroes of Mice and Magic 3. In this series, we will be following the barbarian adventures of the immortal hero, Tarnum. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to part three of our Warlords of the Wasteland campaign playthrough. We are on scenario seven, Slash and Burn. After losing most of his horde to a wizard's trap, Tarnum searches for allies in a valley where Jug's descendants settled long ago. Don't let Tarnum fall into enemy hands. All heroes are limited to level 28. Tarnum and all of his skills, spells and experience will transfer to the next scenario. Let's go with plus one defense because we're very attack heavy. Let's do this. Years of oppression, the loss of everyone he loved, and an unexpected betrayal brought Tarnum to this dark point where his rage conquered reason. He decided the only way he and his people would ever be safe was to execute every living spellcaster in the world, and anyone who didn't join him was his enemy. For now, the wizard kings are regrouping, preparing for your next attack. Perhaps you can rebuild your forces from the descendants of Jarg himself, rumoured to dwell in this valley. That would make a grand army indeed. So you send your advisors out to the surrounding towns to recruit a new horde to replace the one that died at the Wall Peaks. All right. First things first, Mona. A group of peasants blocks the path before you, but when they recognise who you are, they try to get out of your way. When you ask them to join your cause, they shake their heads. The wizards would punish us if we were to help you. Besides, we hear you'll be dead soon, and then where would we be? You can't believe it. Jarg's own blood is siding with the spellcasters. Sensing that they would join the wizards if commanded, you think it's best to eliminate this threat now. Weakest units in the game. <laughs> Ooh, yes. Ooh, yeah. I see where this game's going so far, and I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> um. Please, one of the peasants shouts. This is all we have. Please don't take our mill. We don't want to take it. Join us. Fight off the wizards, and you won't have to fear anyone ever again. But the peasants shake their heads. Their spokesperson says, You don't understand what they would do to us. We can't join you and we can't surrender. You clench your hand around your sword. What's wrong with these people? They've been slaves so long they've forgotten how to fight. Well... Loads of money. So interesting, it sounds like our heroes don't transfer to the final scenario, which would be unfortunate. If that is indeed the case. Your men have trapped this group of peasants through the countryside, and now they're trapped, nowhere to go. And as you talk to them, you realise why they ran. They're trying to avoid you because they refuse to join your forces. Perhaps they were fleeing to join the wizards. You can't let that happen. Army's already pretty good. Doesn't build well for these uh, wizards, that's for sure. I'm going to grab a Hall of Valhalla, just because I'm probably unlikely to pass through here again, so I might as well grab the free attack whilst it's on offer. And that actually led to them joining us, which is awesome. This is the smallest possible map. Oh my god. I think this map's going to be over very quickly, boys. It's not even underground. 
Although he is taking on Thunderbirds already. And Cyclops. Ancient Bayamoss. She's got Ancient Bayamoss. Well. A bunch of tired, ragged-looking miners step from the caves. You see the picks and shovels in their hands, held like weapons. Their leader steps to the front. Oh, we can't let you have this mine, he says. Please, go away. We don't want to fight you, but the wizards will punish us if we join you. Does anyone in this valley have true barbarian blood? You shout to the skies before you attack. A group of barbarian traitors have come to a magical shrine to pray for help. How ridiculous. These people have truly turned their backs on their heritage, and there is nothing you can do to help them. They'll join the wizards if given a chance. City Hall. Okay, we're on day f five. Not long after your army burns an abandoned village to the ground, you discover a group of refugees attempting to hide in the wilderness. Like the others, they're probably trying to avoid you so they can join their wizard masters later. Nice try, you say. No traitor escapes King Tarnum. Really hope they join, but never mind. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Citadel Castle. Oh, they got three heroes. So their bases aren't well built up, but they do have Ancient Bane to start for some reason. We need to not lose as many troops. We should play this out ourselves. Ahead is a sizable forces of filthy wizard loving peasants. They obviously think their large numbers might be a match for your armies. We'll run no longer, murderer, shouts their leader. You should have, you scream back, then you attack. <laughs> Lol. Ooh, four ancient bays. on them. No. Unbelievable. I need to figure out where these things take me. Ah, there. 
right there. That's exactly where I want to go. Do I wait till I get a second Behemoth? Oh, I need to take her out before she gets a bigger army. Oh, they must have a hill fort over there, I suspect. Four ancient behemoths. That is going to be a bit tricky. This will probably be the only difficult fight this mission, though. If we can pull this off. Yeah, I'm going to sack the goblins. Everyone can get free reign on them. No retaliations for you, sir. Let me take those out. Never mind, Ballista one man army. Shiva, you are the weakest link. Goodbye. A group of peasants with pitchforks stand outside the village ahead. Their leader steps forward and says, Please leave us alone. We have no wealth, but we are willing to give you everything we have. Just let us live. You laugh at this man's nerve. You'll take what we want, including your treacherous live, wizard lovers. Damn. Shit just got real, bruh. I think we're pretty much done with this mission. <laughs> this was an absolute walk in the park. That's literally all they've got left. <laughs> Congratulations, all your enemies have been defeated and victory is yours. Wow. Um, War 7? Alrighty, this is the final scenario for Warlords of the Wasteland. Steelhorn. Tarnum has pushed the Wizard Kings all the way back to the ocean. Now we must conquer the last of their defences, including the impenetrable castle, Steelhorn. One ancient behemoth, let's -a go! Let's Offended by the brutal and bloody turn the war had taken, his captains banded together and demanded to go home. But Tarnum couldn't accept their defiance any more than he could make them continue the fight. So at the next feast, they unwittingly drank from poisoned cups. You expected some of your soldiers to desert or rebel when they heard of the murders of Hardak and the other captains, but you experienced just the opposite. Your men love you. They especially love the victories you've been able to bring them. Now you promise you'll finally break the back of the evil wizards. Castle Steelhorn, that which cannot be broken, will fall before us. For all eternity, the glory of what we do here will be remembered. Your grandchildren and your grandchildren's grandchildren will say your name with pride. What we do here is our immortality, assuring us all a place among the ancestors. Ah, oh, so he poisoned the cups of our captains. Wow. What a guy. Okay, this is a medium to large map. So, we can't build a city hall, interesting. So money is going to be a major problem in this game. Or mission, I should say. A lone knight leads a filthy group of peasants. Put away your swords, the knight orders you. I am the protector of these people. With your cowardly captains holding you back no longer, you see no reason not to continue. No one tells me what to do, you say, and order the attack. Oh, uh, so the captains were like, oh yeah, don't, 
don't kill all the wizards type of thing. I see, that's why he killed them all. The only downside of, like, completing these missions very quickly is we don't get to see, I guess, all the lore, all the uh, dialogue. Oh, we should build a... We should definitely get a ballista. Your spies report that there are at least two castles and three towers between you and Castle Steelhorn. But you've caught the enemy unaware. Your horde arrived here so quickly that Bracadoon hasn't been able to man them at all. Now is not the time to relax though. Attack quickly and you'll forever have an advantage over them. Okay, so what we need is a ballista. We grab the ballista, we rock and roll. Turn and then this is it. This is the army we go out with. Oh, Cyclops came nice. Can I afford one? No way. I do have a resource silo. Don't need gems for this base. I'm short, and I. You consult your seer as you do every morning. She throws the bones, stares at them for a long time, and says, Assemble the broken man, the statue of Legion. With it will come strength and glory. Ah, the statue of Legion's on this map. Interesting. Looks like a castle to me. Out of my way, peasant! Ooh, angels! Yeah, 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 yeah! We should get angels. Ooh, endless bag of gold as well. Take that. Yeah. You see the soldiers resting after a long march, but as you approach, they brandish their weapons and rush into formation. You see they are transporting an artifact called the endless bag of gold, and you aren't about to give it up without a fight. Do you attack? Of course I do. Just be mad if you think I ain't picking up that artifact. A fire caused by a careless cook roars through your midday camp. Your soldiers escape injury, but your supply wagons are destroyed. Although you can cut the wood, you must pay an experienced craftsman to help you build new wagons. Wonderful. One of your scouts returns from the ocean where he had been spying on a Bracadoon tower to the east. He tells you a story that makes you suspect this scout visits the bottle too often. I saw this great swirling hole in the water, my king, and one of the Bracadoon ships sailed right for it. I thought to myself, they are dead, when the hole swallowed them. But to my surprise, ship and crew returned the next day, although I think there were fewer soldiers aboard than when they started with... What? <laughs> You're having a fucking laugh. Really? Must have a lot of angels in here, though. On the plus side. I'll sacrifice my entire army for angels. Let's do it. <laughs> and the ancient behemoth, of course. Oh, why did I do that? That was dumb. Keep targeting goblins. Lovely jovely. We'll get like three or four angels out of this. Which is huge this early on. 
should be able to complete the mission with them, to be honest. <laughs> And an ancient behemoth as well. Yeah. I mean, if I. Ah, uh, it's like. Ooh, the Cyclops is still alive somehow. If I can keep the ancient bay, uh, uh, Cyclops alive as well, that'd be awesome. Yeah, yeah. Three angels, I'll take that. I mean, we'll take three angels any day. Can't reinforce, no point. I'm going back now. Nearly every peasant in the surrounding area must have gathered to stand against you and your army. A massive legion of these ragged wizard lovers stand in your way, calling you Tarnum the Murderer. Wow. 3,000. Oof. Luckily, these things are weak as hell. Okay, I'm going to need to... Uh, Regen me, uh, mana shortly, though. Wow. Angels OP, bruh. With this guy leading him, anyway. <laughs> Not even close, fam. Not even close. Level one, might as well grab these boys. Grab a stables, blacksmith and barracks. Eh. Oh, yes, please, and thank you. Now I can see who wants to join me. Which is great. Are they willing to join us? Four and a half K. Camped by the side of the road, as if waiting for you, is a band of rugged mercenaries. Their leader approaches with a cocky grin on his dirty face. The wizard king's paid us to ambush you, but we've been talking. We'd rather wait and see who wins this war before we take sides. Move along in peace. The mercenaries step aside. Okay. I feel like these guys shouldn't be so weak like shouldn't these guys be like on my level or something in terms of experience they're all like one one twos I just don't get it why I feel like maybe something's busted with the HD mod that's allowed this to happen that doesn't feel right like this just feels like a cakewalk honestly <laughs> Like, I'm all for victories, but this just feels too easy. Especially considering I'm supposed to be playing on Impossible. At least 50 of your soldiers have come up to you over the past few months to tell you they've had a child and named it after you. Apparently, back in the wastelands, the same is true. Having your people honouring you in this way makes all the pain fade for a moment. But more importantly, it pleases you to know that everyone believes you're on the right path as well. A fog suddenly surrounds you. You can barely see your hand before your face, and yet you ride slowly on. You're bound to come out sooner or later, but when the mist clears, you find a small army in front of you, prepared to attack. <laughs> yeah, okay then. Concerned I am not. Well, there's the whirlpool. Finally, someone with some kind of stats behind them. Finally. Not complete pushover. 
so we need to go through the whirlpool apparently there's no way of getting to them any other way I think we do see what's on the uh, island though Piece of this. There will not be any threat for me. Alright, let's check out this hut of the Magi. Ooh, Armageddon's Blade, are you kidding me? Wow. And they got curl, yeah. Um, well, he hasn't got a very big army. That's very easy to destroy as well. Angel's ideal. Uh, oof. Hopefully, I turn stone. Oh, well, they attack that. That's fine. That works too. Do need to be careful with these angels. They haven't got the most amount of health left right now. Kind of a carry. Oh, I've got enough. I should be able to kill most of those. Very really closer than I thought, actually. Oh, he's good. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, you got Titans? Oh, shoot. It's not a big army, but it's three Titans. How strong is he? N8, 16, there was a lot of spell power. There's lots of spell power. I need someone to join me, really, to even the odds. He is the big threat, though, old Curl. Ooh, this could be what we were looking for. was down there, wasn't it? Okay. Oh, we've only got two days. If they got Titans in that base, I need to tap to that base, really. You have the dream again. The dream. That's what you call it now. Always the same. Always everyone you know is bloody, torn and dead. And you know it was your hand that killed them. But it's just a dream, isn't it? You would never hurt Yala, nor your parents, nor, well, killing your sister was a mistake. If the wizard hadn't stolen her from your home, it never would have happened, right? And Hardak, well, you had to kill him and the other captains. You regret it, but Hardak's death was for the good of your people. Hardak and the others didn't understand that the wizard kings had to be completely destroyed, like an injured limb that has become infected must be chopped off to save the body. Tarnum's, um, justifications are becoming a little bit more, um, tyrannical now aren't they 
Ooh, they'll join us. Wow, that's massive. You don't believe your eyes, but then this magical land has been filled with many wonders that don't seem real. But there by the side of the trail is a tree ripe with fruit. Fruit that turns out to be precious gems. You quickly order some of your troops to pick the tree clean, aware that not all of the gems are making it to your coffer, but who cares? If these guys join us, that'd be amazing. That's 13 Cyclops. 14 Cyclops because of the end of the week. Amazing. Uh, I think we have to trade for these guys. How close? Uh, that's going to be just about enough movement. Ooh, have I got enough movement to get in the base? Yep. Oh my Christ. Okay. That's awesome. Money. Okay, gonna fix some of that. Just grab a lookout. Oh, just grab a wall of knowledge, actually. This curl, he's not attacking me, interestingly. He's the major threat. Yeah, let's see if we can kill him. Before your eyes, your army turns to stone. Nothing but cold, lifeless statues. You wander among them, your sword drawn. What manner of magic is at work here? Then, a shadow moves at the corner of your eye. You turn. Nothing. Another shadow. Soon you're spinning in slow circles, knowing that an attack will come. When it does, you almost react too slowly. The shapeless shadow spills onto you like a giant wave. You're blind, slashing even as you feel your muscles hardening, solidifying. Then your sword luckily strikes something and you hear a scream. You open your eyes to the blinding light of day and find yourself on the ground. Your soldiers gathered around you. If not for your efforts, you would all be stoned by now. We can take this guy out. I think we go all in. This guy's got a lot of spell power. And spells are not really my strong suit. Mass haste could be a good shout. Dispel, okay. Oh yeah, because we're on fighting on this land, so every spell is going to be uh, top spell. But at least it's not a lightning bolt, I'll take that. goes before him. Seven, six, ah, I think I played that poorly. That should have mass hasted. Never mind. Now, um, green, we can't get through there. I mean, I'm um, again's blade, absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> She's stuck, I think. Um, can't get through there. I think there was a guy called Torosar who was over here. Oh, 
Unfortunately, while riding along this path, your horse steps on a discarded nail and bucks, throwing you into a pool of mud. It's jarring to the morale of your troops to witness you in such an embarrassing position, but there is nothing you can do about it, except change horses. Shouldn't let him take that for free. Okay, so we need white. And they've just got white. Okay, that's interesting. So they have another base. That's a castle base, interestingly. Okay, so we need to... We need to find green. Green's there. Ah, uh, there's also a green there. So we need... A portal. Oh, there's red. Let's go grab red. A treasure chest sits on the ground before you, obviously forgotten by your fleeting enemy. So you order one of your servants to open it. Unfortunately, the box explodes. The servant disappears, and from the steaming cloud billowing... From the chest fly an ambushing group of genies. to get green. There is talk among the men about the ground itself being magical in these parts. The wizards have lived here for centuries and their spells and experiments have seeped into the ground like water into a dry lake bed. Now it is rumoured that the ground itself sparkles from these enchantments and the magical strength of any who stand on it is greatly increased. Take him to my lands, that could be annoying. Um, I think he's just going to run away though. I need to figure out where this portal is. I suspect it's somewhere around there. I don't really want to leave him alone though, because he can take any base he wants, including the one with Titans in it, and that would be bad. Maybe we run him down. He must have logistics though, because he's moving a hell of a quick. Oof. I'm not going to get there in time, no chance. Well, this has got nothing in it, neither is this. It's just an annoyance to deal with. That actually stops me from getting back as well, which is... Which have I got summon boat? I do. Chasing him around might be the best thing to do.
It must be where they were coming from before. Um, ah, shoot. This is not great. Give them that base back. Because your horde has diminished over the past few months, you might want to consider recruiting troops from a Brackadoon town or two. It's not difficult to force them to switch sides once you have their families under your control. Quick and powerful troops such as the Archangel would be powerful allies, and you know that the enemy will certainly have the same. As your people say, never enter a sword fight with only a spoon. I mean, that very, very common saying, yes. <laughs> ah, that's how you get there. Great. And then we can turn these into Archangels as well, which is good. Although giving him two Titans is not ideal. But having Armageddon's Blade also will just be a GG, so, you know, and Archangels are good. It's not, what? Oh, there's an underground? Oh, shoot. That's not what I thought would say. Uh... Okay. Let's just see this play out. This is not really what I want to be doing. Okay, this takes me where I need to go. Does it? Okay, this does. Interesting. I'm lucky I'm having Titans again though. Okay, well, let's have some fun with this with Armageddon's Blade then, boys. I'll show you the true power of death. Archangels now. Interesting. Not Titans. Oh. Is 
So where's the base that he keeps um, utilizing then? Something odd is going on up ahead. You see a lone man taking a shovel to the road. He's working furiously, ripping up the stones and tossing them into the nearby bushes. He keeps bumbling the same thing. I say, who needs roads? Then you see him lift a large box from the hole and toss it aside with as much care as he shows the rocks. Secretly, you snatch up the box and ride on, discovering something nice hidden inside. <laughs> that is so cheeky. I love it. Oh, he loves it, he does. I'm wondering whether we have to fight Kurt now, whether we wait until we get the old uh, Armageddon's Blade. Be a more sensible choice. Looks like he's probably just going to stay in his base. Oh, hang on. Where did he just go? Eh. You're riding when from the trees ahead of you steps a familiar old goblin. The nameless one that made himself one of your advisors. You had thought he was missing. My king! My king! He shouts and waves his arms in the air. Someone has poisoned all your advisors! Oh me, I can't believe it myself! All those great men cut off in their prime! The culprit must be found! Your hand snakes to your sword even as you wonder how you possibly missed this goblin. But before you can draw your steel, the crazy advisor disappears into the woods again. Interesting. Right. I wonder if there's a base here. Oh, there is. That's where he's getting Archangels from. Right, I see. Hell nah. What a weird choice of spell. Attack from water magic. <laughs> Why? I can just use air, and if you went air, I'd just use water. Oh, congratulations, you've captured Steelhorn and are victorious. Oh, turns out that's all you had to do. I completely forgot about that. <laughs> GG's, boys, GG's. With the defeat of Castle Steelhorn, Tarnum shattered the power of the Wizard Kings. But his tyrannical rule was short. Out of the ruins of the Empire of Bracadoon climbed the upstart nation of Arathia. And one day, its king would defeat Tarnum, sending him before the ancestors to be judged. But that is another story. Alrighty, so this is actually a prequel then to Restoration of Arathia even. This is like a very prequel prequel. Interesting. I had no idea, but now we know. This, that, at least we know where that kind of fits in the timeline. 2115 Archangel. Nice. What? <laughs> what the hell? Okay, that's random. Alrighty, folks. Well, this was the first chapter of eight in the Heroes Chronicles series. Um, we'll be covering all of the Chronicles series back to back, so expect to see more Heroes content coming your way. 
If you did enjoy this video, please do give it a thumbs up. If this is the kind of content you enjoy, then please do consider subscribing to the channel. It does help support the channel, would be greatly appreciated. Do let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. And as always, I shall see you in the next video.